Saturday, October 14th, 1 o'clock Mountain Time, 2017. I want to take you guys back in time real quick. These are some videos I did early on um, when I first started doing YouTube videos in 2012, 2013. Um, I'd seen something very unique in the night sky. In the eastern sky, it was in the constellation of Hydra. And I'm telling you, I was doing one video after another trying to get somebody to go out and visually see what I was seeing. I saw a red and blue combination of a unique looking star in the same position in the night sky in Hydra. I saw it for four years um, and I've seen that color sequence 90 different times. They don't move. They stay in the same place. You won't see one. Um, you won't see them both at the same time. You'll see one or the other. They were on 3 minute and 30 second intervals when I first discovered them was the second week of March of 2012. And you can see all the videos I did re regarding something in Hydra. And at the time, um, you know, I was, my channel was very new, so the videos didn't get very far. So most of you watching this video don't even know that these videos exist because they go back five years. But I did see something in Hydra. And you know what it looked like? It looked just like that. Red, then blue. And like I said, you would never see them both at the same time. One would burst, and when it would burst, it would only burst for a second at most. So it was next to impossible for me to photograph. They were just far enough away to where I couldn't photograph them. But they were close enough to where they were easily visible with the naked eye. My wife even saw them. When I first discovered them on March the 14th, it was by sheer accident. I just happened to be out in the backyard. Our house faced north, so our backyard uh, faced south. My only view of the night sky was the east, and I happened to notice something flash in the eastern sky. I think it was on March 14th of 2012, and it was blue. Didn't look mechanical. It looked like that, with a corona-type cloud around it. It looked like a blue cloud, to be honest. And I just kept looking in that same area, waiting for the blue to come back. Next thing I know, there's something red. I'm like, what was that? wasn't moving, it was stationary. Three minutes, 30 seconds later, here was the blue. That was when I started putting my, uh, I was actually using my phone. I started timing. Three minutes, 30 seconds later, here come the red. Three minutes, 30 seconds later, here come the blue. Went out there the next night, there they were again. They were visible from 9.32 to 10.08. After 10.08, you wouldn't see them until the next night. And then I watched them for six of seven nights. That was in March of 2012. Followed them for four years. This is exactly what they look like. My wife saw them too. I brought my wife out to the backyard on the third night when I was confident that they would come back. And I asked her to look at a dark patch of sky. And she kind of looked at me funny until she saw the blue one. And then she was like, oh my gosh, what was that? And at the time I was still trying to figure out what I was looking at, too, because I, I had no idea. I knew it was not anything man-made. Look, just like that. That's exactly what I saw. In fact, it was in that same position. The blue one was at the 2 o'clock position. The red one was at the 7 to 8 o'clock position. That's exactly how they looked. Well, ESO's mystery to be unveiled on Monday the 16th, something that they've never before seen in the universe. The very first image in this article is something that I saw back in 2012, 2013, 2014. I saw that, just so you know, 90 different times. The last paragraph of this article, when they're talking about this uh, release of information that they're going to give us on October 16th at 1600 Eastern Time, something discovered in the night sky, the last paragraph reads as follows. The ESO image, and this is the ESO image that they're talking about right there, at the top of the page shows the first exoplanet directly imaged and the first discovered orbiting a brown dwarf. This would be the planet. This is the dwarf. It was imaged by the uh, VLT in 2004. The exoplanet, the red spot on the lower left, is that right there. The red spot on the lower left is orbiting the brown dwarf 
2M1207 in the center. And that's the dwarf. 22M1207b is a Jupiter-like planet, five times more massive than planet Jupiter that we all know. It orbits the brown dwarf at a distance 55 times larger than the Earth to Sun distance, nearly twice as far as Neptune is from the Sun. That's how far apart they are. And keep in mind, when I saw those, they were easily visible with the naked eye. You did not need a telescope, I promise, as long as you knew where to look. Um, nearly twice as far as Neptune is from the Sun. The system, two. M1207 lies at a distance of 230 light years in the constellation of Hydra. Hydra. Hy these are videos that I did in 2012, 2013. Hydra, Hydra, Hydra. And what I saw was that right there. So is that what they're going to tell us on Monday? I have no idea. I hope so, because I've been wondering for a long time. Well, now I think I know what I saw. But let me tell you something. I saw that with the naked eye. I sure did. I don't think that that's what they're going to tell us. Maybe it is. I don't know. Maybe they've found or learned something from these things. But I think now I've finally learned what it was I saw back in 2012 and 2013. I saw that, guys, with the naked eye. And when they say that this lies at a distance of 230 light years, they don't say from what. It's very open-ended. I can assure you that that is visible with the naked eye. It's in that same exact uh, sequence you see right here. The red is at the 7 o'clock position with respect to the blue. And that's what you would see in the night sky in the constellation of Hydra. They were on 3 minute and 30 second intervals. You would never see them both at the same time. You would see a blue. 3 minutes 30 seconds later, you would see the red. Then back to the blue. Then back to the red. And they looked exactly like that. The big was, or the blue was a little bigger than the red. That's what I saw. 90 different times over the course of four and a half years. So it'll be very interesting to see what they have to say about this. If this is even related to what they're going to tell us. I don't, I don't have any idea. Your guess is as good as mine. But I think I understand now what I saw back in 2012 when I first saw these things. And trust you me, it was a mystifying experience, one I'll never forget. And like I said, on the third night, my wife came out and saw them too. But I wanted to make sure, before I asked my wife to come out and stare at a dark patch of sky, that they were going to be there. And they did. They showed up. And she saw them too. And she was just as mystified as I was. But I think now we know what we saw. A planet, an exoplanet, five times bigger than Jupiter, and a brown dwarf. It's actually blue. In the constellation of Hydra. Thanks for watching, guys. It'll be interesting to see what they tell us on Monday. We're anxiously awaiting. Thanks for watching, and be safe out there.